everybody, welcome to Team Powerhouse Podcast every Tuesday night. You've got Eric Vasquez and your far right, David Lamel here, and a very special guest. We are very happy to have Garrett Lee from High Rock Water and Mechanical, a very knowledgeable, sit back, relax, and get ready to write things down, a lot of things down about all well systems, etc. Well and plumbing. Well and plumbing. Uh, Garrett is coming to us, very excited to have him. You're going to learn a lot if you're, if you're a realtor out there, if you're a buyer, if you're a seller. Tremendous information. Please feel free to reach out, ask questions while we're live on the show, on our Facebook channels and Instagram. Do not hesitate. And if later on you miss the show and you watch the show and want to ask questions, we'll have you tag Garrett and also High Rock, Mechan- High Rock Water Mechanical, make sure I say it correctly, uh, so he can see the questions later on too. But before we get started, as you always know, make sure to follow us live on YouTube, Team Powerhouse Real Estate, Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, Spotify on the Road, uh, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and so much more. Um, folks that actually have wells. You know? Very true. So it, for those of you that have wells, I mean, we spent probably in, in an hour show prep, we spent probably 40 minutes talking about wells. Yeah. Because it's, it's that important. It's, it's very educational. There's a lot of things that we know and a lot of things we don't know, even more we don't know in this process. A lot of realtors out there who don't know about wells and why it's important to know about the functionality of a well, why to have a professional to have out to see a property. Let's just talk to Garrett and let's get started. What, how many gallons per minute should a well be pumping out? Minimum, average, and what's a really good, let's say, level? Every well depth has a certain gallons per minute range that you're going to want to be in. So, you know, we'll call it by code standards. If you have a 100-foot well, you're going to want a 5-gallon per minute well yield to where 5-gallon per minute is coming into your well as you're using water. Okay. So my pump is producing 7 gallons per minute. I may only have, we'll call it, a 2-gallon per minute drop-off in my well. You have storage, obviously. You know, that you have a 100-foot well and your water is 20 feet from the top. So I have 80 feet of storage. A standard well in Connecticut is six inches. You have a gallon and a half per foot. So if I have 80 feet of water, you know, I'm gonna have 120 gallons of water reserve on top of what is incoming into that well. So the average home in Connecticut depth of well is 200? 300, 300 feet. feet. Is it when you're talking nowadays. Right, so in a 300 gallon, 300 foot well, how many gallons per minute should you be looking for? You'd like to have one gallon per minute coming into that well at that time. Okay. And then there are storage requirements too. So you know, you want one gallon per minute coming in, but if your water table is say 280 feet down, you only have 20 feet of storage. So you have a storage threshold as well as that gallons per minute threshold. And how many water per gallon coming out? Going out? Yes. So that's all the well pump. Yes. The well pump, you know. Good point. So when your well pump, you're gonna size it. Everything has a, a pump curve is what it is. So at this depth, this pump does this much water at this many PSI. You want to stay, your minimum in a home nowadays is between 40 and 60 PSI. You want your pump to be capable of pumping you know, the entirety of your well if need be. So you have to size your pump properly for that. Typically, you know, out of a new pump, we don't like to see less than seven, eight gallons per minute of what the pump is capable of doing brand new out of the box. Which leads to my next question is, what's involved in a well inspection? When we come in for a well inspection, um, for, for buying a home, let's start with there. Yes. When you're, when, when you're buying a home, you want to, going back to the well yield, you want to know what your well can handle. You know, if you have a swimming pool, can I put an inch or two of water in it when it gets dry? Uh, can I wash my car? Can I run a pressure washer? There's a lot of things that people, you know, may come from city water and they're able to wash their siding on their home right. uh, with a pressure washer. Good point. You have an unlimited source of water with that. Right. Um, unless you don't pay your bill. But <laughs> on a well, you don't have that unlimited source. So something as simple as you put the pressure washer down and the trigger's stuck and it leaks water and you go and take a 20 minute break, that water adds up. Sure. You know, that, that's, that's water that is, it's coming out of your well, your water is depleting out of that and it's going to take time to recover. So if you take your 20 minute break of power washing the house and you go inside and you're doing a load of dishes and your kid's taking a shower, 
that water table is going to drop and your water may stop. <laughs> or it becomes very weak while you're taking that shower. Correct. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's knowing what you have.